Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And uh, the young lady sent me this back to look at her final product project. And I'm just thinking the the L's a little off, you know, the distance wise. And so I thought I'd kind of go over this and show her. So I'm going to go to object and group and ungroup. Then I'm going to set my nudge factor. Let's see how big this thing is. It's like eight. So let's set our nudge factor on 10. And let's nudge this ring out of the way. We evidently have to ungroup it again. Let's nudge this ring out of the way. And what I'm seeing is that it's not perfect. It's not a perfect circle. So I would change with your ratio unlock. I'm going to change this to 8.25. Now I don't know what size she actually wants at the end, but we can always fix that. So I'm going to do 8.25 by 8.25. Now we'll nudge this ring out of the way and it's not the same either. It's not equal. So let's change it with a ratio unlock 6.25, which would be close enough. And now it's more of a perfect circle. Now, 6.25 and 8.25. So if you draw another ellipse holding down the control button and you make it half of that, 7.25, and it would have been easier if I would have locked my ratio, 7.25, and then hit P, you can see where the basketball is off, or the word basketball is off. So we're going to grab that word. We're going to go to text and straighten text. And then we're going to kind of like put it in the middle here. And we're going to go to text, text the path, and go right and try to get into the center. We can always change that. The red line tells us it's in the center of the circle this way, and then we can mimic it over. But we still need to move it down to more like the center or the line. Now, you can do that with this, but when you do this, you, you change the rotation a little bit. But then we're going to grab right here, and we're going to go down. That's about in the center, and then you can hit this back. And now you're not going to get that red line, but you could take an indexing line and put it like right there, and we're pretty close. So let's go, let's grab just the text, and let's change this just to ever so slightly. And you could, if you can't nudge, see it's going up by 0 0.05 amount, and that's really close enough. But if we go here and it goes that, so we need to go a little bit. I'm going to say a little bit less, so we're going to go 1189. And it moved it ever so slightly. Now, let's look at it all put together. Let's select this whole thing, go up to object and break the three objects apart. We can just delete the circle, put this back in the center of the page, hit P, put that back in the center of the page, and hit P, put that in the center of the page. Now her text to path is more so, if not exactly, in the center. I actually think the Boston's off a little bit. And if we look at it, we can bring in, a, bring in an indexing line and hit P. And if we look at the word Boston, you can see that the Boston needs to be kind of over here. Now... It's a little bit crooked too. So I'm not going to do it, but I would have put that circle back and redone this Boston. Now you could change that by double clicking on it and move the rotation to the center of the page and you could rotate the Boston, but it's still going to be a little bit off, but you can visually just kind of look at it because it's on the right curve. We can take that and, and make the center of the rotation back to the center of the word or close, and then we can minutely kind of just rotate that guy a little bit to where it looks that way. But I'd actually redo it, but that would probably be good enough for this graphic. Now, like I said, control G and group it all together. And let's say she only needs it eight inches. Well, now she could change it to eight, and not 80, but eight, and everything's gonna be eight inches and everything's equal. It made it the same amount. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.